Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review, unboxing uh, or first initial thoughts of the DeLonghi KG79 coffee beer grinder. Um, if we have a quick look around the box, it says beer milling system delivers the best grind consistency for the finest coffee ar aroma. Um, it also says um, select from 2 to 12 cups, allows you to adjust the coarseness and it's also got the removable container which is quite handy because most um, beer grinders you actually have to grind the coffee straight into the, um, the coffee filter. Um, so I'll just remove the box out the way and we'll take a look at the machine. Um, just have a look at the top of the machine at first. This is the plastic case. It's got a switch on it so when it's fully down you can switch the machine on and off but when it's not on the um, top um, the machine will not switch on so that's a uh, added safety feature um, the coffee the coffee goes inside the top there and the bear grinders that's the bear grinder just where the DeLonghi um, symbol is there you can remove it <coughs> um, we've also got the yes the the on off switch obviously and then we have the cup selector on the front and this is from 2 to 12 cups I only set it to 2 cups though because um, really you don't unless you're making a drink for a lot of people you you only you, you want to grind the, the least amount you possibly can for, your, for yourself and um, to keep it as fresh as possible and um, We've also got, this is the um, ground coffee container, which also has, I'll just move the machine back so you can see. This is the coffee container, the ground coffee container. 
it also has a safety switch on it so when it's in there you can feel it click in and that means that you can that you'll be able to switch the machine on and off and um, it's got a little lid on it and there's the ground coffee there right and then we have the on the um, side we have the um, the coarseness the coarseness selector um, and I'll go into greater detail in that in a, in a moment so yeah it's set to two cups I'm gonna switch it on quickly um, it's set to two cups it's set to the finest grind and I'm going to switch it on now. And I th think that has just used the last of the beans in there. So that's why it was making a slight slight strain it was a stranger noise than I'm used to that I was wondering what was going on but there wasn't many beans in the um, in the bean container if we take a look there's the ground coffee there. just give that a tap yeah I think I ran out of beans on that one there they normally you get a little bit more for two cups worth um, when you grind um, two, I, I normally get about three or four cups off two cups worth um, of a grind from this one um, yeah so to be honest with you that dial seems to be out to me because I get more than two maybe if I was doing double espresso um, double espressos and um, using the double filter for my espresso machine Maybe I would get two cups off it. Um, there's the double espresso. I'm using a single espresso, so I definitely get more than two cups when I'm making a coffee using a single espresso. And also, the um, coarseness selector on the other side, that also seems to be off a little bit. The first grind I did, I set it to medium, and it was a really, really coarse grind. So I set it to the finest and for an espresso maker it still is a little bit too coarse. It it cannot get the um, coffee fine enough for an espresso maker. Now there is a modification that you can make to the machine and I've, I've had a quick look at the video online and they say it takes between 10 to 20 minutes to to um, do it which involves pulling the pulling these knobs off the front and back knobs off um, removing the casing and it's a matter of unscrewing um, eight or ten screws and then making a slight adjustment to this um, this knob now because it's it, it and that will in fact um, invalidate the warranty um, on the machine so if um, you're a little bit worried about it doing anything like that um, don't try it because if you've got any intentions of taking this machine back it will invalidate the warranty now because it's a new machine I'm not going to try it for a while I may get round to doing it and I will post a video if I, if I do that modification but anyone who's got one of these machines and is not happy with the grind they're getting if you're using an espresso maker um, if you have a quick look for, I think it's the Longy KG79 or 89 um, hack or modification, I think that's the video that will show you how to do it. Um, but like I say, I've only had the machine a matter of a couple of days, so I'm not going to do that modification right um, anytime soon. The only thing in my favour really is that my espresso filters have got a pressurized valve on the bottom um, so really I my machine struggles when I put espresso 
ground coffee in my machine because it's it's a little bit too fine and it clogs my machine up. But um, with the pressurized valve on the um, espresso filter, um, it handles coarser grinds a lot better. Um, so that's a good thing for it. Um, I will post another video at some point after a good amount of use so that I can give it a quick review. As I say, this was just my first initial thoughts and unboxing the item. And like I say, so far it's, be it's better than the grinder. I, I was using a blade grinder before this one, so it's definitely better than um, using a blade grinder anyway. And yeah, that was my quick first initial thoughts of the DeLonghi 79. Um, I think it's around £35 and if you can find a cheap link on Amazon I'll put the link in the description below. Um, anyone who's got this machine or has had trouble with it or has made the mod modifications in the machine, if you'd like to leave your comments in the section below and let me know um, how you got on with this machine. Um, if you find this, found this video of any interest, give this video a like and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future and um, subscribe to my channel and that was my quick video looking at the DeLonghi KG79 thanks for listening bye for now